Uh, hello everyone. Today we will discuss about uh, seizures and its classification. Seizures. These are the transient event that include symptoms and are signs of abnormal excessive hypersynchronous activity in the brain. Epilepsy. Occurrence of two or more unprovoked seizures at least 24 hours apart. In 2014, the International League Against Epilepsy revised the definition of epilepsy as a disease of the brain, with at least two unprovoked seizures occurring greater than 24 hours apart, or one unprovoked seizure, and a probability of at least 60% for further seizures, similar to the general recurrence series of the two unprovoked seizures occurring over the next 10 years, or diagnosis of an and epilepsy syndrome. Why revised classification required? Loss of 19 <laughs> Several focal motor seizure types, such as tonic, clonic, tonic, or myoclonic, have no place in the classification other than a generic partial uh, motor group. Lack of knowledge about the onset makes a seizure unclassifiable, even if the tonic clonic seizure is visible. The seizure is unclassified. The terms used to characterize seizures such as complex partial or psychic may be unfamiliar to the general public or uh, non specialist doctors. The role of unconsciousness in the classification of seizures is complex and difficult to apply in the practice. So important seizure types are not included. Classification of epilepsy, the name is classification has three levels. Classification of seizure types, epilepsy types, and epilepsy syndrome. Level 1. International League of Epilepsy 2017 classification of seizure types. Basic version. This is designed for non-epilepsy practitioners to use. Seizures are classified as either focal limited to one hemisphere of the brain are generalized, appearing clinically or uneasy in both hemispheres of the brain. Unknown onset seizures. When the nature of seizures onset is unknown with less than 80% certainty by the clinician. As more information becomes available and unknown onset seizures may be classed as focal or generalized, unclassified. If there is a inadequate information or inability to place in other categories. So classification of uh, different type of seizures, focal onset in that uh, aware and impaired awareness, motor uh, and non-motor, and further focal to bilateral tonic motion. A generalized onset, motor and non-motor. Under motor, tonic clonic and other motor and non-motor option seizures and different types. Uh, unknown onset in motor, tonic clonic, other motor, and non motor, and other unclassified. Expanded seizure classification. Clinicians with experience in the diagnosis and management of epilepsy should adopt the extended seizure categorization. The core classification system is written, but individual subheadings are enlarged. Under focal onset, they are divided under two groups, aware and intervenous, and further divided, motor onset and non-motor onset. In generalized onset, motor and non-motor. In unknown onset, further divided, motor, non-motor, and unclassified. Old term, which uh, uh, unconscious, we change instead of any partial change in focal, simple partial, focal aware, complex partial, uh, new term focal impaired awareness and psychic cognitive. Secondarily, generalized tonic clonic seizures, new term focal to bilateral tonic clonic and arrest is cause in interruption, change in behavior arrest. Focal onset seizures. There are two types of focal onset seizures, those with retained awareness and those with diminished awareness. Impairment of consciousness has a key role in classifying the seizures because of practical importance for the safety during seizures. 
employability and interference with schooling and learning focal impaired awareness seizures if awareness is impaired at any point during the seizure the level of consciousness classification is optimal and it can be left blank if the level of awareness is unclear focal motor seizures automatic focal non motor onset seizure include cognitive seizures autonomic seizures emotional seizures behavioral arrest seizures and sensory seizures focal autonomic seizures seizures of autonomic nervous system processes such as heart rate blood pressure perspiration skin color pillow reaction and gastrointestinal symptom focal behavior arrest seizures cessation of movement sometimes called as a freeze or fall because brief behavior arrest is common and difficult to distinguish as a normal and a seizure so don't only be characterized as a focal behavior arrest seizure if the behavior arrest is the most prominent feature sought out by people focal cognitive seizures refer to a seizure in which cognition is affected language and spatial perception and the capacity of the complete arithmetic among other cognitive skills may be affected focal emotional seizures It start with an outburst of the fear anxiety or happiness involuntary laughing or sobbing can occur during an emotional seizure which may or may not be accompanied by subjective emotion focal sensory seizures in which tingling or numbness vertigo visual symptoms sound smell and taste key seizure symptoms autonomic behavior automatic emotions are appearing of the emotions extension of flexion postures Blessing, sweating, and pilaration, which cause autonomic symptoms. Jerking arrhythmically, myoclonus. Language or thinking problem, deja vu-like symptoms, cognitive, lid jerks, eyelid myoclonia. Numb, tingling sounds, smell, taste, visions, and vertigo sensation. Causing, seizing, and acute arrest, which cause medical term, behavioral arrest. Pressing and tightening, hyperkinetic movement, and trunk flexion is caused. Common uh, descriptors are there. There are different types of cognitive, automatic, emotional, affective, motor, sensory, autonomic, and flexibility. Uh, focal motor and non-motor seizures are defined by the first significant sign or symptom. even if the first manifestation is not the most apparent feature during the course of the seizure the initial manifestation identify the seizure's origin location or network exception impaired awareness if consciousness is impaired at any point during the seizure it is characterized as impaired awareness seizure behavior arrest focal behavior arrest seizure is one for which behavior arrest is the predominant manifestation start out the entire seizure focal to bilateral tonic clonic begins focally and subsequently extended to the bilateral tonic clonic movement similar to the ancient phase secondarily generalized tonic clonic seizure seizures that are generalized from the start are classified as generalized while seizures that begin in one hemisphere and then extend to the other are classified as bilateral generalized onset seizure with the few additions generalized seizures categories are uh, identical to the those in 1981 category new generalized seizures absence with eyelid myoclonia epileptic spasm or infantile spasm myoclonic atonic and myoclonic tonic clonic generalized motor seizures generalized myoclonic seizures in which bilateral jerking of the limbs face eyes eyelids that is not sustained and generalized myoclonus jerking is not uh, 
necessarily a left right synchronous but it is does occur on both sides generalized myoclonic tonic clonic it is like a tonic clonic seizures but a few myoclonic seizures on both sides of the body is there it will with uh, generalized myoclonic seizures epilepsy are more likely to have this type of seizures generalized myoclonic atonic seizures characterized by myoclonic seizures followed by limp dog and children with do syndrome may experience such seizures generalized atonic seizures characterized by an epileptic drop which is called in which muscle tone and strength are suddenly lost as well as fall to the ground seizures of atonic nature normally last barely a few seconds generalized epileptic spasm characterized by trunk flexion and limb flexion are experienced generalized typical of this seizure an abrupt uh, cessation of activity as well as eye flutter and head nodding as well as other involuntary behavior when this happens for more than a few seconds awareness and memory are impaired the recovery is quick generalized atypical of this seizure comparable to the traditional of this seizure but they may have slower onset and recovery as well as more prominent tone tone alteration generalized myoclonic absence seizures seizures with few jerks followed by an absence seizures seizures of unknown onset in old classification seizure with lack of knowledge about the onset they are kept unclassified even if the tonic clonic seizures is visible unknown onset is divided further under motor and non motor under motor tonic clonic and epileptic spasms and non motor behavioral arrest hypothetical case if you hear a noise when enter the video ig room to find the patient in bed grunting eyes rolled up or limbs stiff then rhythmically jerking for a minute he was off camera at the start what is the timing summary of rules for plastic science seizures according to the onset decide whether seizure onset is focal or generalized using a 80% confidence level awareness focal uh, seizures decide whether to classify by degree of awareness or to omit awareness as classified impaired awareness at any point a focal seizure is a focal impaired awareness seizure if awareness is impaired at any point during the seizure onset predominant classify a focal seizure by its first prominent sign or symptom do not count transient seizure arrest behavior arrest the focal behavior arrest seizure shows arrest of behavior as the prominent feature of the entire seizure motor or non motor the focal aware or impaired awareness seizure may be further sub classified by motor and non motor characteristics bilateral versus generalized use the term bilateral for tonic clonic seizures that propagates to both hemispheres generalized for seizure that apparently originates simultaneously in the both a typical absence absence is a typical if it is a it has slower onset or offset mark sensation of tone or eeg spike wave at least at, at less than 3 per second chronic versus myoclonic chronic refers to the sustained rhythmical jerking and myoclonic to regular Unsustained jerking, eyelid myoclonia. Absence of eyelid myoclonia refers to the forced upward jerking of the eyelid during an absence seizure. Example: A woman awakens to the find her husband having a seizure in bed. The onset is not witnessed, but she is able to describe bilateral stretching followed by bilateral shaking. Is an MRI or normal? old and cluster new unknown onset tonic clonic seizures there is no supplementary information to determine if the onset was focal or generalized another example in an alternate scenario of case one the eeg shows a clear right parietal so slow wave focus the mri shows a right parietal region of cortical dysplasia old partial onset secondarily generalized seizures new focal to bilateral tonic clonic seizures 
coca etiology has been identified and the overwhelming likelihood like would is that the seizure has the probability the child is diagnosed with lennox gastro syndrome of unknown etiology cg source runs of slow spike wave seizure types include absence and other old head typical absence seizure new head typical absence seizure the absence seizures would have had the same classification the old the same child has been He has seizures with stiffening of the right arm and leg during which responsiveness and awareness are seen. Old simple partial motor seizures, new focal aware tonic seizures. A 25-year-old woman describes seizure beginning with 30 seconds of intense feeling that familiar music is playing. She can hear other people uh, talking, but uh, afterwards she realized that she could not determine what they were saying. After the episode, she is mildly confused and has to reorient herself. All complex passive seizures mean focal seizures with intervention. The 22-year-old man has seizures during which he remains fully aware. With the hair on my arms standing on edge and feeling of being flushed. All simple partial autonomic seizures. New focal aware autonomous. A 35-year-old man with juvenile myoclonic epilepsy has seizures beginning with a few bilateral arm jerks, followed by stiffening of all limbs and then rhythmic jerking of all limbs. All myoclonic seizures followed by tonic-clonic seizures. New myoclonic tonic-clonic seizures. No corresponding single seizure type existed in the old classic. A 14-month-old girl has sudden flexion of both arms with head flexion forward for about two seconds. These seizures repeat in the clusters. EEG shows hyperemia with bilateral spikes, most prominent over the left parietal region. MRI shows a left parietal dysplasia. Old infantile spasms, focality not perfect, knee focal epilepsy spasms. Level two epilepsy types. Seizure types focal, generalized, and unknown. And another uh, epilepsy types focal, generalized, and combined generalized on uh, focal and unknown. Etiology may be structural, genetic, infectious, metabolic, immune, and unknown cause. The diagnosis of generalized epilepsy is made based on the clinical evidence, which is backed up by the uh, presence of typical intractable EEG discharges. Unifocal and multifocal epilepsy as well as seizures involving only one hemisphere are all examples of focal epilepsy. Combined generalized and focal epilepsy. Patient with both generalized and focal seizures. The diagnosis is based on the clinical evidence and EEG data. Generalized spike wave and focal epilepsy from discharges could be seen on the intractable EEG. Robert syndrome and Lennox Gastro syndrome are two common examples of seizure that include both categories. Unknown epilepsy. Patient is diagnosed with epilepsy, but the physician is unable to establish whether the epilepsy is focal or generalized due to the lack of information. This could be due to uh, a plethora of variables. It is possible that there was no accessibility to the EEG or that the EEG data were inconclusive for normal. Epilepsy syndrome. An epilepsy syndrome is a state of symptoms that includes seizure types, EEG and imaging anomalies. It does seem to have a dependent characteristic such as age at onset and remission. Seizure triggers. Diagnosis, fluctuation, and sometimes prognosis. It may also have unique uh, comorbidities, include intellectual and mental impairment, as well as specific EEG and MRI abnormalities. It could have etiology, prognostic, and therapeutic considerations. There are number of well-known syndromes, including childhood absence epilepsy, West syndrome, and Dravet syndrome. Though the uh, International League of Epilepsy 
has never issued a comprehensive categorization of syndrome. There are the examples of the epilepsy syndrome in neonatal period and in infancy during infancy, uh, onset under two years, childhood, adolescent to ad adult, and familial epilepsy syndrome. There is a difference between the Lennox Gastro syndrome and Drew syndrome. In Lennox Gastro syndrome, onset of age between 1 to 7 years and Drew syndrome, onset age of onset to, to 5 years. In Lennox Gastro syndrome, in up to two thirds of cases, abnormal developmental background is present. Up to one third progress from the rest. In Drew syndrome, develops in previously normal children. In Lennox Gastro syndrome, Family history is uncommon, but in Drew syndrome, strong family history is usually present. Most common seizure types, tonic up to 100% of patients, had typical absences, had tonic and myoclonic in Lena Gaster syndrome. But in Drew syndrome, most common seizure types, myoclonic, had tonic and myoclonic, had tonic seizures. Presence of tonic seizure is against the diagnosis. In Lena Gaster syndrome, in tactical EEG, always abnormal, with generalized slow spike wave discharges at the hallmark features. Episodic fast wave activity also is excessive but not sensitive. In do syndrome, in tactical EEG, typically normal, but generalized spike wave discharges may be seen, especially during the sleep. Neuroimaging is almost always abnormal in the Gesta syndrome. In Drew syndrome, neuroimaging is typically normal. In Lennox Gastro syndrome, the factor to polytherapy with 5% motility and up to 92% have significant behavioral and cognitive impairment. In Drew syndrome, prognosis is relatively good if recognized early and started treatment early, especially in the pediatric form. Clinical features. According to the age of onset and different seizure triggers, development and neurological examination, MRI, EG signing. JME, juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. JME is typically diagnosed in otherwise healthy young teenagers and is characterized by one or more of the following seizure types myoclonic seizures, seizures, and generalized tonic clonic seizures. Myoclonic seizures. Are the hallmark seizures in JME and often begin before the first generalized tonic clonic seizures. DPCS occur in almost all patients, often as the index event leading to the diagnosis. Often seizures are present in 20 to 40 percent of the patients, beginning up to five years before other seizure types. The classic EG pattern in the JME, four to six heard bilateral polyspike. In slow wave discharges, the frontal predominance over a normal background activity. Sensitivity of EEG rises to nearly 100% with overnight recording. MRI is typically normal and not required for diagnosis. Age wise, causes of seizures. There are different causes according to the age in neonates less than one month, perinatal hypoxia and ischemia. Intracranial hemorrhage and trauma, CNS infection, and metabolic disturbances like hypoglycemia, hypercalcemia, hypomagnesemia, pyridoxine deficiency, or drug withdrawal, or developmental disorders, or genetic disorders. In infants and children, more than one month and less than 12 years, causes of seizures, febrile seizures, uh, or genetic disorders like metabolic degenerative and primary epilepsy syndrome. Any CNS infection and developmental disorders are common. In adolescents, 12 to 18 years age, cause of seizures most likely trauma, genetic disorders, infection, or drug, uh, illicit drug use, or bad tumor. In young adults, between 18 to 35 years, most common causes are trauma, alcohol withdrawal, illicit drug use, brain tumor, and arthritis. In older adults, Older adults more than 35 years so causes of seizures, most likely uh, CV, brain tumor, alcohol withdrawal, and metabolic disorders like uremia, hepatic, cellular, electrolyte abnormalities, 
hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia, Alzheimer's disease, and other degenerative CNS diseases in autoantibody. How to approach the procedure? If there is a patient present with the loss of consciousness, first we should exclude syncope, transistomic attack, migraine, acute psychosis, and other causes of episodic cerebral dysfunction. If there is a history of epilepsy and currently treated with transistomic drugs, assess the adequacy of antiseptic uh, drug therapy and side effect and system levels. And also consider routine investigation like CBC, electrolyte, calcium, magnesium, serum glucose, liver and renal function tests, urine analysis, and toxicology screen. If there is normal sub therapeutic and anti seizure drug level, an appropriate increase or resumption of the dose. If there is a therapeutic anti seizure drug level, increase the anti seizure drug therapy to maximum uh, tolerated dose. And consider alternative antibiotics. If there is abnormal change in the neurological examination, treat identifiable metabolic abnormalities and assess the cause of neurological change. If there is no history of epilepsy, then uh, do routine investigation like CBC, electrolytes, calcium, magnesium, serum glucose, liver and renal function tests, urine analysis, and toxicology. If positive metabolic screening, or uh, symptoms and signs suggesting metabolic or infectious disorders, further workup like lumbar puncture, cultures, endocrine studies, CT, MRI, if focal seizures are present, and treat underlying metabolic abnormality and consider anti seizure drug therapy. If there is metabolic screening negative, MRI screening EEG. If there is focal seizure of uh, focal seizure of seizures and focal abnormalities and clinical or lab examination, other evidence of neurological dysfunction, they know the there is maybe the idiopathic seizures and consider anti seizure drug therapy. Differential diagnosis of seizures, syncope, psychological disorders, metabolic uh, disturbances, psychoactive drugs and migraine, transistomic attack, sleep disorders, movement disorders, and some special consideration in the children. Under uh, syncope, vasovulgal syncope, cardiac arrhythmia, valvular heart disease, cardiac failure also should happen. In psychological disorders like psychogenic seizures, hyperventilation, or panic attacks. Under metabolic disturbances, alcoholic uh, blackout, delirium, tremens, hypoglycemia, and hypoxia. Psychoactive drugs like hallucinogen. And migraine, confusional migraine, vascular migraine, transistomic attack like vascular type, uh, transistomic attack, and any sleep disorders like narcolepsy or cataplexy and benign sleep myoclonus, movement disorders like sleep, non epileptic myoclonus, paroxysmal, choreotherapy, and special constipation in children like death holding spells, migraine with recurrent abdominal pain and cyclic vomiting, benign paroxysmal vertigo, apnea, night terror. Night errors and sleep walking. Empty epileptic drugs. Target for anti epileptic Increase inhibitory neurotransmitter system, GABA. Decrease excitatory neurotransmitter system, glutamate. Block voltage gated inward positive current sodium or calcium. And increase outward positive current potential. Many anti epileptic drugs, pleiotropic act via multiple mechanisms. Anti epileptic drugs, vaccines are vector. Voltage gated sodium channel. Effect on the sodium channel. I mean, excited the sodium. Thermogen and phenytoin. Lemotrigen well put. Calcium channel blockers. Calcium channel blockers prevent release of the internal calcium stores into the cell cytosol. Cell does not respond to the calcium ion signals and Compartment containing internal calcium stores. There are different mechanisms. GABA. Elevate the GABA level by irreversibility, limiting its main catabolic engine, GABA transmitter, and interfere with the GABA reuptake. There are different anti epileptic drugs, Brevracetam, 
Kenabidiol, Carbamazepine, Clobazam, Clonazepam, and Ecosystemide, Selbenate, Gabapentin, Leprosomide, Lamotrigin, Leutracetam, Ox, Carbamazepine, Serum Penel, Phenobarbital, Phenitoin, Clemidone, Rutinamide, Pigabetrin, and Epiramid, and Velproic Acid, and Jonisamide. Heterogenicity, velproic acid, my most common side effect, neurotic defect in carbamazepine, craniofacial anomalies, and spinal bipedal, phenytoin, fetal hydantin syndrome. Overdose toxicity, respiratory depression, and in respiratory depression management, support the airway management and mechanical ventilation. If life threatening of toxicity in velproic acid, Hypotoxicity, lemotrigine, system germ syndrome, and zonisamide, severe risk injection, and pelvimate, aplastic anemia, and acute hepatic failure. Thank you.